Welcome to Business Connection. I'm Liz Spencer. I bet you see first student school buses all the time, but I bet you don't know much about them. And I have Linda Andres, and she's the location manager for first student. And we do see them all over the place. Yes, we are the nation's largest school bus company. Tell me a little bit about, tell me something we might not think about, about your drivers and about your bus company. Well, our drivers come from all different walks of life. And most of us are, it's a retired thing or our job aspects have changed. Mm -hmm. We've moved on. We found new things to do and school bus driving was one of them. So our drivers come from all different walks of life. They're not just school bus drivers. Well, I think that's so important when you say they're not just school bus drivers. Because when I think about it, drivers play an important role in children's lives. They're transporting our children. Tell me a little bit about the safety and, and the training you give your drivers. We give our drivers approximately three and a half weeks of training. That's seven days of classroom. From the classroom, they go behind the wheel, which is about 17 hours. Okay. And from there, we give them additional training, mentoring, and help them through to become excellent drivers. That's our goal. Because if we can't do it safely, we can't do it. And tell me a little bit, that's, that's awesome. Tell me a little bit about um, the routes. How does the driver choose his route or her route? They get to bid. Okay. It's done by seniority. Okay. And what happens with our drivers is some of them choose to go to schools where their children are at. Okay. Others choose to stay with the children that they may have had since kindergarten. So these kids grow up with this particular driver along the way. Or they look at it from a standpoint of, gee, I like this one for that. I want to go here. Mm -hmm. This group does a lot of field trips, so I'd like to go with this school. So it keeps them busy, or they have athletics. That's neat. And I would bet, because I, I remember riding the school bus as a kid, and, and, and I knew the bus driver. And I would bet there's, there's a bond or there's um, some connection that's made between the driver and their kids. Absolutely. Every driver goes from calling them my students to, those are my kids. <laughs> You can't talk about their kids. You can't say anything negative about the children that ride their bus because those are their kids. They take possession and ownership in a kind of strange way because we drive them all day long, mm -hmm. every day. Rain, snow, sleep, shine, we do it all. And those are our kids. And I think that's neat because you are that, you know, especially if it's an early morning thing, you are probably that first you know, you know, hopefully bright face they see in the morning. Well, you have to remember, if we don't smile and say good morning, then the kids think we're grumpy. Okay. So we don't want to be the grumpy bus driver. We'd rather be the happy bus driver or the cheerful bus driver, but never the grumpy bus driver. Uh, tell me a little bit about um, your, how you work with the school districts. We get our routes from the school districts, and we have a close bond and relationship to help promote the fact that we do safe transportation for the children and we do a lot of the athletics for the children. So we want to make sure that the routes are given to us in a timely manner and that corrections are made if there's safety issues and things like that. So the district, we have to work closely. We're a team. We're a team. Right. And are, are you currently looking for bus drivers? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. We're always looking for smiling faces to come in and help us drive the children to and from school. Now, many people might think that this is a, a part-time job, but it's a full-time job. It's just a split shift. It's a split shift. Okay. It's a split shift. It's two and two, so it is kind of part-time, but you can make it full-time. There's opportunities for additional work, such as charters. You can do field trips, go to the zoo, um, Knott's Berry Farm, all different places like that. You can have a ball. It's a lot of fun. Linda, did you drive a bus? Yes. Yes, I did. I started as a bus driver, went on to become a standby a behind-the-wheel instructor, classroom instructor, and state instructor, and a third party for the state of Illinois. And now I operate one of the largest locations here in Illinois. Wow, that's terrific. Congratulations. What Thank a, you. What a wonderful career. What, what made First Student work for you? Why was this something that you progressed so well with, do you think? I could bring my children along to ride with me because I had a little one. Mm -hmm. And it was easy to work your way up. They give you a lot of support. They help you in the different aspects that you want to take up. And they help teach you and train you all the way through. So it's been a wonderful experience working for them. And I highly recommend them as a company. That's great. Um, you've given back, First Student has given back to the community. Tell me how. We've done things with Habitat for Humanity, bringing out students to help them uh, learn how to build homes. We've given back to the food pantries. We do donations, food drives, all sorts of interesting things like that. Plus, we set up employment fairs for them and have them come out. And we interview people. We just uh, did 
did one recently for the Aurora Food Pantry, and it was a great experience. That's neat. Well, and, and being that you have your transportation company, I, I think many people would think um, that you wouldn't have a lot to give, but you have a ton to give by being able to transport people to and fro, whether it be an athletic event or something like that. We do, and our people are very involved. We do a lot of church groups, things like that, donate for socials. It's just a lot of fun. I can't stress it enough. It is a fun job to have. Tell me a little bit about um, the type of people who make, who are, you say they come from all different walks of life, but is there some set of skills that are really necessary for bus drivers? We work to teach you what you need to know, and it's a learning experience that you never stop learning. Never, because you're working with children. So you're always going to learn something new, the latest fad, the latest craze. You get to see it first. Right. Well, I would bet that, it, as you said, you know, some of these bus drivers have grown up with the kids, which I think is really nice. Because I do, I do, you know, remember riding the bus in junior high and from, you know, sixth to eighth grade, the same bus woman drove. And it was a comfort to see that familiar face. It is. And the kids love to see them. And when the bus driver isn't there and we send us up, where's my driver? How come my driver isn't here? How dare my driver not be here? And sometimes they know the route better than the drivers do. <laughs> That's true. That's they do. They're great kids. I can't stress it. it. It seems that you really love your job. I do. It is the best job I've ever had. And I look at it from that standpoint every day. And I'm thankful I do have it because it gives me an opportunity to work with drivers, different personalities, school districts, teachers, mentors. It's just a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, and I, and I, I love your, and I think you guys should make it a slogan that it's, it, we're not just a bus driver because it's really so much more. They were actually looking at trying to find a slogan for bus drivers, something other than, you know, just bus driver. Uh -huh. Our president was out recently from the company, Dennis Maple, and he said, I'd like to call them something else. You know, transportation specialist, passenger transportation specialist, trying to come up with a new slogan for what a driver really is. Right. I think that's a good idea. We're working on it. <laughs> You're working on it. Linda, thanks for stopping by and telling us a little bit about, about that person who drives those, those school buses that we see all over our town. So thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back with more Business Connections. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm.